This is uh, Brandon Brooks. I'm the managing editor with the Los Angeles Sentinel and the other Los Times newspaper. It's my absolute pleasure today to be sitting down with Asia Brown, the, the newly elected, or is it officially the mayor-elect now? Mayor the the mayor-elect of the city of Compton. And I just want to say congratulations on, on this new appointment and Thank a monumental you. and historic appointment at that. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's an honor to be here at the Historic Sentinel and you represent definitely a new era. So I look forward to working with you. Yeah, and then, yeah, and we were saying that a, a second ago is that you you represent um, you know the future, and I mean not just the future, but your inspiration for not only myself being a, a younger executive, but just younger individuals, and I think uh, black women and women as a whole, just uh, for, for your confidence, the way you carry yourself. And in this leadership role, which is you know being a mayor of a city, any city, um, especially the city of Compton, it's going to be a tough task. But obviously, you're the one for it. The city is behind you, and we, the Sentinel, are, are here to support you in that journey. Thank you. Um, what I'll do is I, I start with the first question: is tell me about um, about this appointment. I think I'll just say, how did it feel when you first were elected? Did it, how, how was that moment? And then we'll backtrack a little bit and go into you know who you are and how you got here. But tell me about when you found out, Asia Brown, you are the mayor of Compton. <laughs> um, I felt really humbled to represent the city, and you know, it's always when you're campaigning, and it was my first campaign. You were always focusing on the finish line, and so once you approach the finish line. There's definitely just a piece that, you know, you've done everything that you can do. You know, we met with neighborhood groups, um, yeah. different leaders in the community, churches, um, residents, and so we definitely um, hit the pavement really hard. And so I think I was very excited for our team that they were able to realize our overall goal. Yeah. And then just to have um, such a large percentage of the overall vote, yeah. I think that it definitely um, set, a, set, a, set a tone and really um, established that the community of Compton is ready to move forward. And, I was just humbled that they elected me to lead them forward with a new vision. Um, I, what I'd ask is, I think all of us are curious of when did you get this um, this attitude to, to, to jump into politics? I mean, that's that's a tough field for anybody to jump into, and let alone to, to take on a position as such as a mayor. Um, tell me how that came about. I had never really desired to go into politics. I had always been a practitioner. so. My desire was really to transform communities um, at the staff level and to really just reach the people and um, work with groups and really give power to people, um, establishing empowerment boards and different things like that. And so when I came back to the city of Compton working as a redevelopment project manager, some great things in the city. Um, I had written some policies for community benefits to really benefit um, the economic development. Um, atmosphere of the community and to really establish um, new mechanisms for job creation, for growth, for revitalization, and so really just making the community better. And I definitely had a heart because I live there. And yeah. So it was personal for me to make certain that the city of Compton continued to move forward. And as a staff person, I had um, written various initiatives. Um, some things were able to get um, in place and some things weren't. And it was quickly apparent to me that there was definitely a bottleneck at the top and yeah. just going to um, council meetings there was definitely a divide amongst the leaders and yeah. just seeing the potential that Compton has and having such a rich history and the location and all the great things that make Compton Compton I just really believe that in order for Compton to go to the highest of heights and to really achieve the greatest potential that I believe that it can reach that we need some new leadership and yeah. so um, I actually live in the second district, so okay. I had considered running for um, the council person in the second district. the second district, but to really be able to affect change overall, I just believe that I would be able to be um, well served as a mayor um, yeah. to really provide a vision as an urban planner. I had gone to school and you know was educationally trained and had dedicated ten years of my career to wow. doing this type of work at the city level, and so I just believe that with my skills and experience that I would be best served as running for mayor so about two years ago I had decided to um, begin that journey and wow. there so was, two years ago was when you kind of decided you said yeah I set on this goal absolutely wow. and it was um, it was interesting because I was trying to find different people that could run for mayor um, oh, wow. and I would just support them I said you know I'll help you with your campaign I'll well, you know politics good because <laughs> you know I'll um, be the, the person behind the scenes and so that was truly my desire and wow. I had reached out to some people and every person that I reached out to they said well no you should run you're qualified you have experience mm. I think that you know you should be the next mayor and so I kind of just moved on to the next person so mm. after um, doing what I could do and trying to find someone that That's I awesome. believe was suitable um, all fingers forward. were pointing to you. They Absolutely. said, you're the one for this job. I mean, it was, even that being said, I mean, I don't want to make this the, 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 
the, the main question or the or, or come to highlight I should say is that your age. I mean a lot of people if you don't mind sharing how old are you? I'm thirty one. And that that's that, that, that's that's historic in itself, I think, to be a mayor of a city at that age. But as you said, your experience, you have over ten years of experience. The people in the community supported you. You've mm -hmm. been in the community, you you've participated in politics and in, in the, in the in planning and policy. And I think that shows what, what you bring to the table. What are some of the initial plans that you have when you kind of are hitting the ground running that you're looking to do or you're focused? Um, some policy instruments um, that we're working on will definitely go into a place immediately. We're working on a community benefits agreement, which mm -hmm. will provide a mechanism for the community to benefit from various um, public, private joint venture projects in the city. Mm -hmm. So if the city yeah. provides any type of assistance, then that will um, allow the private sector to enter into a voluntary agreement with the city that will mandate 35% local hiring, that will create a mechanism to trigger specific job training programs for various trades and journeymen so that at the conception of the project, when we're looking at the whole concept of what this project is going to look like, we'll also be mapping out a, an applicable job training program that will be able to train our local people in the specific trades that are needed to make the project happen. So that the goal is to have a qualified workforce when the project begins. Okay. And so working in development for some time, we always saw the backtrack where you look back and you say, oh, we have you know a need for different types of um, trades. and you know, your people aren't qualified, so we'll have to bring people from outside the community. And so that's always the look back. And so we're trying to prevent that, be proactive, and be able to provide some um, real means for people in our community to benefit from the investment that goes on there. And so the more the board jobs that are created, you're trying to make sure that the community comes along with that and that Absolutely. they're trying to be able to participate right. in the development. And to really create a, a multiplier effect, and that's what healthy local economies do. They make sure that we systematically circulate our dollars within the community so that we get the most benefit. Now I have to ask you this, and I mean you're a younger individual. We have, you know, city of Compton has its own mystique, just as certain cities in America mm -hmm. do. And people hear Compton, and we all know that with the rappers, the NWA, and we have Kendrick Lamar, who's a big rapper out of Compton and things. But it still kind of has a negative uh, tone and things like that. How do you see that you can help change that? I think you and yourself represent that change and represent that vision. But how do you, you know, how do you think you can help uh, assist that or overall that that can change? I think definitely um, looking at the internal aspect of marketing the community to the community and then also the external factors. So working in the city of Compton and working in the development field, I was responsible for assisting the city to market itself to developers, corporations, and um, investors that are considering coming into the city. And so perception and image is a huge factor and it has a huge economic impact on the community. And so I really believe that focusing strategic marketing efforts um, inside the community of where the city is going so that the community has an opportunity to be engaged, to um, be a part of the process of transforming our community. Um, we can't just wait for someone to come in you know, with a, a special pot of gold and mm -hmm. transform our city. So we really have to roll our sleeves up together and do it ourselves. That's right. um, and then also focusing on highlighting the great things that go on in the city of Compton. Saying, it's a rich, rich community and so many community. wonderful people there. Yeah. And um, we have organizations such as the Compton Initiative that um, are part of the city of Compton. They do quarterly cleanups and they cleaned up several schools within the city of Compton, painted them, provided um, wow. different landscaping and so they paint homes and neighborhoods and so I think highlighting the great things that we have going on to the city of Compton to outside of the communities will definitely have a, a great impact on how people view the city and then just being a new face, a, a woman, younger, yes. um, definitely having experience in the community yes. development field I think definitely offers just a higher level of service and hopefully will um, change the, the view of the outside community to what Compton represents. And I, and I think, as you said, just to piggyback off what you're saying, is that you represent that. I think you cut the question is almost answered with you sitting here, is that it is a new day. It's a new mm -hmm. era. And I think, unfortunately, the media, and I blame us at times, <laughs> are the reason that Compton and, and certain areas at times are highlighted. But us being a, a, a black newspaper, I think we understand the importance of, as you said, highlighting the, the rich things that go on, the community outreach, and, and the people like yourself that are in the community every day making a difference. And you know, and really doing on the ground, have their feet there, and are really trying to make a difference in the city. Um, sticking with some of the, the, the things that you're working on, how do you feel about education? And what are some of your, your goals, or what would you like to see from the, the school district in Compton all the way up to the, the community college? In the next few months, we'll have joint collaborative meetings between the city and the school district so that we can really combine our efforts and our focus. Because 
Historically, in the city of Compton, the school district and the city and the college have really operated as separate institutions. Yeah. But ultimately, we have the same goal yeah. because it, there is no benefit if you build a great building in your community and you still haven't addressed the, the need of your school district because families locate to places that have good school districts, yeah. you know, period. And so the health and the sustainability and the viability of Compton Unified School District is very important to me. I plan on really working with outside organizations and I received a lot of support and interest of bringing resources back into the city of Compton to establish alternative education programs such as science, technology, engineering, math. I'm a product of having to go to school on Saturdays even wow. when, you know, I didn't want to. My mom, you know, made my brother and I go to <laughs> Saturday class. But I think it worked out. It worked out it worked great. Out. You know, <laughs> I didn't miss those cartoons, so that worked out. And so, you know, just learning how to do computer science, programming, um, building computers. I learned calculus when I was in elementary school. And so really being able to stimulate our kids' minds and I think push them. pushing push them, them, establishing a standard, pushing them past that standard, and it really gives them the self-confidence to make those decisions that are best for their own lives. And I think that our kids in Compton are so talented. They have huge, huge resources um, before them. And so I look forward to just really cultivating them and just really doing some things that have never been done in the city of Compton. And also focusing on the arts and you know what you all do and um, you know, you can't just really learn in high school about the, the intricacies of broadcasting and arts and all of those things. And so I look forward to. I know you all are probably proud of the Kendrick Lamar as a people too. So we don't want to. I don't want to put, right. put you down. Right. You, you're yeah. a product of the arts of Compton, but, uh, but we need a positive image to come back. <laughs> and exactly, we need a positive image. And then also, there's so many um, different trades and fields that go behind the project. And so I, I would love for our kids to learn how to be producers and engineers exactly. and really understand the business side of the music industry and not just for everyone to aspire to be an artist. Yeah, there's so. jobs behind the scenes. And I, and, I, and, I, and I appreciate you saying that I have, I have had some experience working behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And we don't see, you know, unfortunately, many of us operating the cameras and, right. you know, operating the switchboards and the soundboards. And those jobs are great jobs that control. And when you really understand how that attributes to the artist, you know, I, I think, as you said, if we can yeah. give our children more of that opportunity right. and that uh, exposure to those fields, I think more of them will gravitate towards it.